week three already. Two weeks before the comp. Ah! This week's training actually went really well. And as you're going to see, I actually squat to depth more than once. This session, I'm feeling proper bab. I have the option to hit a heavy single today if I wanted. I wasn't planning on it, and then PT Luke, the inspiring character that he is, comes along. I say, what are your plans for the session? He's like, PB? He's like, ah, I might as well have a crack too. Or at least equal my PB. Which is what I did. We're a massive grinder. But considering I'm 9 kilo lighter than before, when I actually hit it, it's pretty damn good. This next clip is PT Luke attempting his all-time PB once again. He's the only person I know that will grind out a rep like this. The squat actually takes him to his knees after. Stand up. Bang an extra five kilo on. Did he make it? Did he bollocks? But we're an inspiring effort. So I finish this session as I tend to with all my sessions with some back offsets. Get some volume in with all those thunder thighs. Right, some spandex advice. I've recently been experiencing a lot of complaints about my spandex from my training partners. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's how it makes them feel. They're insecure about this. Who knows? But I'm about to say drastic measures. So what I've done is dug the most ridiculous shorts that I could out of the closet. As short as possible. And then, when I put the spandex back on, they're going to be so relieved that those shorts are gone that the spandex are a good thing. All of a sudden, they're happy to see the spandex. Spandex is here to stay. Right, my bench has been feeling alright lately. I've stopped trying to speed bench and just be more controlled. I say that as I do a wonky bench. Yeah, I just move the weight evenly. These six attempts at 60 kilo dips. We're about that Instagram challenge. Two dudes I'm chasing are just ridiculous. I like hitting two reps and 75 kilos, but they only weigh like nine stones, so it don't count. Deadlifts, deadlifts, deadlifts. I'm actually, I'm not excited about deadlifts, but I'm happy with my progress. Like I think this is 215, moving pretty well. Next clip's 220. It's a little shaky, but it, it moves well. There's no chance I'm going to miss the rep, which is a big improvement from last month. Albeit, I'm still 20 kilo under my all-time PB, but, you know... It's a long game and all that, I'll get back there. Bit of a grinder there. Again, I'm just trying to like control the way I'm lifting. I'm really trying to take out those crazy yanks and stuff because it's just, I don't think it's a sustainable way to train for myself. Going to burp me, son. Here's some more benching. I've been benching like three times a week. Friday, I completely went off program. So I was doing five sets of eight high bar squats. Then I was doing some sets of three one four. I was supposed to do RDLs, but with the competition coming in and my back feeling pretty good, I thought I'll get another deadlift session in. So I just hit some doubles at one eighty, which felt pretty nice. And as you'll see, they move pretty quickly. <laughs> then I was supposed to do dumbbells. Swap that for some more bench press, some singles with 120. It's just like, practice makes perfect for me at the minute with my bench. Like you'll see, like even from the bench press session earlier in the week, my form's looking better already, looking stronger, everything's moving nicely. And it was to my favourite time. Yeah. 